upkeep for Monday, December 10th, 2019. That's right. It's all the magic news you need in 10 minutes or less. All right. The first big news item should surprise no one. That's right. Piotr Glugowski won Mythic Championship 7 in Long Beach, California this weekend. He gets $100,000, a spot at the World Championships, and an unbanning of KCI. <laughs> The one thing that he said he wanted. Yes. He, of course, did not receive that. No, Actually, he did part not. Of the prize pool. He was playing Jund Sacrifice yeah. as his deck of choice for the weekend, and he did not lose a match all weekend. That's right. To be fair, he did have a buy into day two True. from winning his MPL split earlier this year, but still super impressive. Yes, I uh, I think that like another one of the stories from the weekend, which was was of course a lot of things that you're going to get into. Yes, but there was a lot of different decks at the tournament. There really were. Even in the top eight alone, there were so many different decks. We had Jun Sacrifice, which yep. is what Glugowski was playing. We had a Jeskai Fires, which Paolo Vitor Dama de Rosa was playing. An a Golgari Adventure deck, which yes. Chris Kvartek was I playing. I love that one. Yeah, same. And then uh, quite a few copies of I think three copies three. of Simic Flash. That was everybody in the tournament who was yes. playing Simic Flash got into the top got eight. Got into the top eight, including Brad Nelson, who made the finals with it. Yeah, poor Brad Nelson. Always a finalist. Yes. Never a final winner. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the saying. Javier Dominguez was also in the top eight again. Absurd. I have to admit, I was rooting for him. I would have liked to I know, to I would have loved it. That. I'm rooting for but, him at Worlds. <laughs> yeah. Because I want back-to-back, -back, baby. Same. Uh, we also have all of our players who are qualified for Worlds. That's been on going and now we know the 16 players who will be there in Honolulu, Hawaii, February 14th Yay. through 16th is when the tournament's going to be. All right, so who are these players? Let's find out right now. Ready, set, go. <laughs> Javier Dominguez, of course, he's he earned his slot back four different ways, yes. uh, I think, or three different ways. Anyway, he's the defending champion, so he's going to defend. Yes, we have all of the people who won or in some cases came second, but someone already had a qualification. But Mythic Championships this year, Autumn Burchett, Eli Loveman, Matias Leverado, Thoralf Severin, jean Emmanuel Dupra, who came in second to yep. Javier, um, Andre Strosky, and now Piotr Glugowski. And then of course we have our MPL finishers who had the most Mythic points for the season. That was Andrea Mangucci, Seth Manfield, Marcio Carvalho, and Paulo Vitor Damodorosa. Yep, and then rounding it out, we have the four challengers who finished with the most Mythic points. That was Chris Kvartek, Raf Levy, Gabe Nassif, and Sebastian Pazzo. Wow, what a field. Yeah. I'm so excited for this. Very, very stacked field. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be played on arena, but we don't know what the format is That's yet. That's right. That does mean, though, it will be arena only formats. This is something that kind of came out as just like a little blip on the Magic Esports website. Yeah. This we can like thrown in casually at the top oh, of an article. Oh, by the way. Um, and and some people are excited. Some people are feeling kind of skeptical about this. Um, we'll find out more in the coming weeks, of course, about what formats that's going to be. Not only did we pick a winner for Mythic Championship 7. Well, we didn't pick it. They yeah, just like, they won. We picked it. <laughs> we picked it. And find out everybody who's going to play at the World Championship, which, by the way, is a million-dollar tournament. Yes. Which is just $300,000 first prize. Uh, we also found out everybody who has been invited to the Magic Pro League and the Rivals League next year. They can, of course, decline these invitations but we knew, we do yes. know the invitation list so it's not set in stone and this is for the partial season which yep. runs january through july and then we'll have the next new full season starting in august um the mpl is shrinking yep. there's not as many spots because they are introducing rivals so leaving the mpl we have lucas esper bertu just jess estefan eric frolick christian hawk alexander hayne gregor kowalski wow ceviche matt nass john rolf Luis Salvato, Mike Sigrist, and Ben Stark. Wow, that's like, a lot of obviously big names. Some excellent players yeah. in there. Some Hall of Famers in there. Um, some Pro Tour winners in there. Absolutely. Or some the championship winners. Um, joining the MPL, though, we have Chris Kvartek. Yes. Who has Yay. been on, yes, very high on people's lists. I'm so excited for him to join. These last couple of months. Raf Levy, Hall of Famer. Yep. Gabe Nassif. Hall of Famer. Yep. And Andre Strosky. Wow. So those those are my personal most excited to see people in the MPL for next season. Yes. Are the people who've come up as challengers. And you know, Andre Strosky, when he top aided in Barcelona earlier this year. Yes. He would he mentioned in one of his interviews specifically that he was working hard because 
even though at the time we didn't know how people were going to be introed into the MPL for next year, he had that in his sights. Like that's wow. what he wanted. So he was just working as hard as he could. And he got there. And look at it. Look at that's it. Awesome. He got there. After retiring five times. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, joining the Rivals League. Oh boy. And again, we don't know if people will sign these contracts, <laughs> but there's some big names in here. We have none other than Kai Kai. Wow. Kai Buddha. Yes. Could potentially be in the Rivals, not in the MPL. <laughs> the Rivals League. In the League. Rivals League. Stan Sifko, who's been making a comeback in Magic these last couple of years. Luis Del Tour. Kenji Igashira, the Yay! streamer knew about the Nummy. Uh, Simon Gertzen. I love this. Yes. Come on, Simon. We would really love to see him. Ely Cassis. Matias Leverado, who of course won uh, Mythic Championship 3, three. Yeah. earlier this year. Uh, Noah Ma, who is from South Korea. Uh, Teo, Teo Moutier. Moutier. My favorite name in yes, the Rivals League. It's a very good name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Greg Orange, Sebastian Pazzo, Thoralf Severin, Miguel da Cruz Samoyes, Matt Sperling, LSV, and Peter Yeh. Wow, that is a, a stacked Rivals yes, League. It's very We were talking good. about it this weekend. Like, if you told me LSV and Kai Buda were in a league, would you think it was the MPL or the Rivals <laughs> yeah, League? Yeah, it would not be like, it's oh, it's definitely league. Rivals League. Yeah, and we have multiple Pro Tour winners in here, or Mythic Championship winners. Yeah. And we do not know, I should po point this out, that uh, <laughs> there's going to be some discretionary invites in yes. this as well. So we don't know who uh, Wizards is going to choose to send those out to. That's true. So we, we will have some additional people joining rivals. Wow. That's really cool. Cool stuff to look forward to in 2020. Yes. Yeah, speaking of, there's currently a contest uh, through Wizards of the Coast where you can win a trip to Worlds. Which is in Hawaii, yes. as we said. Exactly. You, uh, two people and their plus ones will get to go to Hawaii. The contest is to design a magic themed Hawaiian shirt. Awesome. Make yeah. it a slippery boggle sipping on a Mai Tai oh, there you if you want to win. <laughs> I'm not a judge, but I'm just saying. Yeah. I mean, that sounds like a win. <laughs> combo to me. <laughs> There's been an official organized play esports announcement uh, yes. regarding a bunch of stuff, including tiebreakers. Yes, yeah, so these tiebreakers are relevant to people in MPL Rivals and Worlds or trying to qualify for those spots. So sure. That's one of you. Go look it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there will not be any MPL weekly split play during the partial season running January through July. So yes. if you're a fan of that show on the weekends, it is no more for the time being. Yes. Yeah, speaking of no more, we are saying goodbye to Grand Prix buys. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's pretty big. And some other talk about this was buys were introduced when Grand Prix were much smaller. Yeah. Um, and now that they've gotten so large, they feel like it's not really in the spirit of the event anymore. It doesn't make sense. You have to play. Do you hear me? You must play. You must play. And then there were a couple of updates to players' tour invites. The newest one is the top eight players from Mythic Championship Four in Barcelona and Mythic Championship Six in Richmond will receive an invitation to the first Players Tour Finals in 2020. So that was in addition oh, to some, nice. yeah, great, some stuff that we already knew, like players with 33 or more match points from Mythic Championship Four in Barcelona or Six in Richmond um, have an invitation to the first Players Tour in 2020, um, and so on. But those ones were ones that we already knew. The Excellent. new one is the fin those finishes. Some news from Star City Games, they will no longer be offering free articles. That's right. Over there, if you head over to Star City Games, you're used to getting some of that content um, over on... Yeah, some the, was premium, some exactly. was free. Yes. Um, there's no longer any free content. And finally, Channel Fireball made a tweet this weekend Oof. about the winner of a GP in Australia um, that had, you know, some really unfortunate talk about like just guy fires winning but then also the brush fires that are happening in australia which are massively destructive yeah very, um, pretty unsensitive and, there. And pre insensitive exactly and pretty terrible uh so they made an apology about it okay that's nice um and they're they're donating some money um but <laughs> it was still just you know it was a blip on the news radar yeah there you go it happened it <laughs> happened that's something that happened on the internet this weekend yes it did so there you go a bunch of news for you to start your week off right you can check us over on patreon.com slash glhf magic and check out our full-length podcast good luck high five anywhere fine podcasts are found good luck.